Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging in there for my little foray into not doing anything War Robots related. I'll have an explanation video that we'll upload pretty soon. And But I, I don't want to take the time in this. I just want to get into the gameplay and stuff. But suffice it to say, over the last, I guess, probably more than a month, I have done nothing War Robots related. I've kept up a little bit on some things here and there, but I haven't had time to play, uh, much less make videos and stuff like that. So, um, explanation video to come. Uh, look out for that. But uh, so this is my first round on the Dreadnought map. This is this is my first recording actually since uh, beginning to play again uh, three days ago, I guess. So I guess we'll see how it goes. So we got a whole bunch of new stuff in the game. I'm trying to lock on this hover guy, and it wasn't it wasn't locking on. I was sitting there nailing the. Uh, target select button and it wasn't prioritizing him at all so should be able to finish that guy off real quick too anyway so punisher griff um i found is still effective <laughs> since uh since being gone and it's crazy like people people still don't use it and you know it's not for everybody not every setup is for everybody but it has a lot of value for me i guess as well because i really don't have any desire to run like a cookie cutter cutter setup with the way that the game is unbalanced right now it's just everybody is using plasma or rockets and then there's you know there's the newer weapons and stuff that are also overpowered that you know people are using those as well but for the most part it's plasma um so like tehran's magnums organs and pinatas that's like what's out there the most and i'm sure their data backs that up as well but punishers i still find very effective and i really enjoy using them so i'm gonna keep using them <laughs> i'm trying to build out some more punisher uh, setups as well so um, I'll keep you guys updated on how all of that is going and I'll do a hangar tour uh, you know since we've been gone a little bit uh, I'll show you guys like what I have as far as components and um, you know where I threw all of my like 75,000 workshop points into the garbage I'll show you where that went to <laughs> and and all of that good stuff and I'll give you guys some of my opinions I guess on on what's been happening since we've been out of the loop and we haven't been able to talk about them you know episode to episode uh, we'll sit here and talk about it, but so I just realized like this second ago, I just realized that this is a full clan. It looks like that we're running against, so um, it looks like we're holding them at bay pretty well, though. Uh, we've had three beacons consistently for the whole round, and you can see that up on the dominance bar as well. So yeah, okay. So just checking to make sure that they're not pushing too forward onto our uh, flank. I'm fine with them hanging on to center because we've got... Um, uh, we've got the beacons that I feel like we need, and I'm not too stressed about it. Um, okay, they are taking center right now, so I guess we'll spawn in over on beacon B. Um, yeah, I, I was trying to see if we could like pan around and stuff for a second, but <laughs> but it wasn't uh, letting me do that. I don't know if that's new or if I'm just dumb and thought it was uh, a thing before. Um, anyway, so got my lance a lot in. I, I think I actually might switch this out after after this round. I wanna. I've been wanting to run a rhino. Um, just because the the speed would be really nice to have in my hangar and it has really good firepower too the the death button rhino is a really fun setup right now so um, we'll try that out but yeah I've, I've been seeing tons of like like from from this clan and then from the guys that I'm playing with there's a few it looks like there's like three or four guys on my team running in a clan uh, clan squad right now but it looks like everyone's running like multiples of of the newer bots and you know the, there's still some of you know the old favorites like the griffins and the ancelots and stuff like that but it's a lot of haichis and like there's a couple hovers right at the beginning i'm sure you guys saw that too okay sweet he's not looking at me i was trying to see if he could see me or not <laughs> never has a fat lancelot been so stealthy before <laughs> behind enemy lines i love it that's one of the cool things about this map is because of the different levels that you can access uh, as far as <laughs> elevation and terrain and stuff it makes it really interesting um, with what you can do with that kind of like what I just did right there cracks me up um, anyway yeah so a couple hovers right at the beginning and then tons of Haichis and some Kamihos at the beginning as well everyone dashing for the things uh, the things <laughs> by things I mean beacons yes I've played this game for almost two years <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of crazy too. The channel's been up for like a year and a half, so I, and it was killing me not being able to do anything with it. But life called, and again, we'll talk about that more later. But yeah, let me know what you guys are, are thinking about about the recent updates and how everything's going. 
Um, I personally am still bothered with how out of balance all of the new stuff is. Um, I, I just think it was a really bad call, and it goes against some of the core principles that I've heard them talk about before, and I'll share some of that as well probably in my update video. Um, I, I, was, I just would like to go through a lot more things. I just feel like it's straight away from, um, from a lot of that stuff, and I... I I kind of wish they would get back to some of those core principles. The game, I, I could still have fun with it, though. Like, it's still fun even if everyone else's crap is better than mine. You know, even if they've got the MK2 stuff, which is basically like upgrading your stuff to level 14 gear. It's like the same thing, except they, you know, force you to use more currency, which then hopefully makes you spend more money and stuff like that, which, you know, understandable business model, but uh, kind of lame nonetheless, since there's already so much that they're putting out. Like, everything new they're putting out right now um, is hidden behind the locked doors of, you know, only being able to access a certain way. And it's either, you know, a really, really long time um, or <laughs> winning it on accident or, you know, paying a ludicrous amount of money for it. So I, I kind of wish that that was a little bit different, but, you know, th there's that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about it. And I don't want to hear all the, like, you know, curse, insert curse word, insert Pixonic or whatever like uh, you, you guys know me I don't want to hear that stuff just I want to hear your constructive criticism <laughs> so uh, it's way better for everyone if that's what you're dishing out rather than um, everything else so it looks like we've pretty well cleared the map here let's see if we can uh, survive against this Haichi oh, he's his attentions focused elsewhere but <laughs> clean up duty with the Fujin I've actually been doing very well with the Fujin I've, I've had it in since my since the last time I played, so just a few days ago is when I swapped out that all golem hanger I was running in my last video. Um, I finally was able to switch it out after you know 15 minutes of <laughs> trying to do it, and uh, I've had the Fujin in and it's been tons of fun. But anyway, drop your comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see. We're starting the subscriber request list over again. Let me know what you'd like to see and look out for that explanation video of where I've been, what I've been doing, and. Uh, kind of where I wish War Robots was going. But anyway, thanks for checking out the video, guys, and I hope you have an amazing day.